welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Google Bard to create an outline for your content. And in particular, I'm gonna create an outline for a blog post and I'll also create an outline for a podcast and, and you could use it for both. Uh, Google Bard is a free experimental tool. It's similar to ChatGPT, but one of the things that it's got that ChatGPT doesn't is access to real search results. So real-time search results, you can, it can include information from Google search results. So just something to keep in mind there. Uh, it is experimental, so sometimes it'll say, I can't do that, or I'm a language model and I can't do that. It's, it's, it's a little bit limited, so you kind of have to play around and work around some of those limitations. So to use it for a, uh, an outline for some content, uh, you can just tell it, please create an outline for this content. So I'm going to say, please, because you got to be nice to the AIs. So please create an outline for a blog post about STEM toys for kids in grades K through two do not include any software products. List, oh, actually we'll say an outline for a blog post about the top five STEM toys. There we go, okay. All right, so please create an outline for a blog post about the top five STEM toys for kids in grades K through two. Do not include any software products. My target audience is parents with children in elementary school in the US. There we go. So let's see what it gives me. Let's see if that's enough information for it to create that outline. And it's thinking, there we go. So we've got there we go, this looks pretty good. So an introduction, uh, talk about why STEM, important. STEM education is important. Toys can help children develop their critical thinking. And then it goes through and gives me the top five toys that, it, that are for kids in grades K through two. Now, because I am a STEM educator, I, I teach kids coding, robotics, and stuff like that, then I can tell you that magnetiles are pretty good um, for that age. Lego Duplo are also really good. They're the, usually that age, the kids are starting to use regular Lego, Legos instead of Duplos. Um, Connects is pretty good. Snap Circuits Junior. Um, little Bits are really good. Little Bits, I think, might be a little bit advanced for that. So I would probably replace that with another toy, which I can do. So I can say, um, please revise the previous output to remove Little Bits electronics and replace it with a different toy. There we go, let's see what it does. And what do we get? There we go, let's see. Yep, it did Botley. Botley's, yeah, Botley is much better. I think Botley is a lot better for that age range. So um, so this looks pretty good. This is this is a nice outline. Uh, it gives you the descriptions about it. So you can take all of this and you can then turn it into a Google Doc, which is one of the things that I really like about it. Uh, and you can also Google it so you can go to related searches, but you can export the response as to uh, to a Google Doc. So we're going to export it and open the document in Docs. And then I can go through and I can write my blog post in Google Docs, or I can just take this and paste the outline into whatever I'm using to write my blog post and I can write my blog post with that. But I've got this nice outline. Uh, it makes it a little easier to get started with my blog post. You could actually ask Bard to write the blog with a blog post for you. So I'm gonna say, thanks. Now please write a blog post using that outline include links to each of the toys. It may not be able to do that, but we'll see. So I'm going to ask it to write a blog post. I don't, I'm not telling you to use blog posts that are written by AI, but you can use them as a starting point. So you can say, okay, I'm not programmed to assist with that. Well, let's see. It may not be able to include the links to each of the toys, but we'll say, uh, please write a blog post using the outline you created of STEM toys for kids in grades K through two. 
Let me see if I can write this correctly, K through two. Let's see if it'll write the blog post. It may not be able to write the whole blog post for me. That's okay. I've at least got the outline. Oh, there we go. So it wrote the blog post. Very short version of the blog post, probably not enough words, but this, is, this will at least give you some, a starting point for a full blog post that you can write about that. Now, another thing that you can use it for if you're, if you're having trouble coming up with an outline for your content is you can use this to create outlines for podcasts. So let's say, for example, um, create a, an outline for a, a five episode series of podcasts about STEM toys for kids in grades K through two. So we're going to say we want this to be a five episode series of podcasts about those STEM toys. So here we go. You can see episode one, what are STEM toys? Episode two, STEM toys for early math skills. Episode three, STEM toys for early science early engineering, early coding, and then you can do some further research into each of these. So um, let me say, please revise the previous output to include examples of toys, of relevant toys for each episode. So let's see what that gives me. Sorry for the noise in the background. My, my son's leaving for work and, and he's banging around there. So here we go. All right, perfect. So introduction to STEM toys, example of relevant toys. Here are toys for early math skills. There are some examples of toys, uh, toys for early science. There's some examples, early engineering, got some examples, uh, early coding. It doesn't really give specific examples. So uh, I'll say, please revise the previous output to include specific toys for each episode. There we go. Let's see what that does. If it gives me, instead of examples of types of toys, I maybe want some specific toys for each episode that I can talk about. And let's see if that does it. Oh, there we go. There's some specific toys. So it gives me some specific toys for STEM. Um, those aren't really specific. Yeah, it's not really giving me exactly what I want. Um, so I could further ask it for specific toys for uh, early engineering skills. So I could ask it some sub, um, sub questions. So I can say, uh, please give me five examples of toys, of STEM toys for early engineering of, of specific STEM toys for early engineering skills. So we can get the information possibly in a second query. And let's see what that gives me. Oh, yep, it gives me a few. There we go, Lego, Duplo, Connects, Snap Circuits, Ozobots, Magnetiles. Um, some of those were included in the first list that we have here. Uh, oh, all of them were included. Um, Ozobots wouldn't necessarily be engineering. I guess they, they, they are engineering, they're examples of engineering, but I wouldn't have included them in, uh, for early engineering. So anyway, so this, this is a good way to get that content outline. Uh, you, you, you can see here, I now have five episodes, uh, outlined and, and then you can actually take the outline. And so I'm going to say for episode one, I can now say, uh, please write a podcast script for this content. And I'm going to just paste in episode one, introduction to STEM toys. Let me scroll down here. And it's going to write me a script, or it should write me a script. And here we go. So it's going to give me a whole script kind of a short script. So you can take this content again, you can export it to a Google doc and then you can write your script from there, but this is gonna at least get you started. And of course you can take all of these prompts, you can do them in chat GPT as well, but this is just an alternative that you can try out. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.